and welcome to the Evan Clifton Show. I'm Joe Wambo, joined now with Evan Clifton, head coach of the tennis teams. Coach, you guys uh, host like coming over the weekend, yep. Yep. and we're able to pull out a really strong victory bouncing back on the men's side. Sure. Yeah, on the men's side, um, it was a nice nice win for us. Uh, we knew we matched up well with Lycoming. We, we played them uh, similarly last year, and um, a lot of the same guys in the lineup and things. So, uh, you know, we started off, finally got that elusive double sweep that we've we've been missing. Uh, we, we switched things up. We had uh, Mike Richmond playing two doubles for us today or against Lycoming, and then um, Robbie Coons in mm-hmm. three doubles. And both those guys were huge in, in winning those second and third doubles matches to give us the sweep. You know, so being up 3-0 going into singles is – as we always say, is, is huge for us. You know, it's huge to have to take that pressure off you, and um, you know. And then Brian came out and did what, did what he's been doing. Got another straight set win at singles to give us the 4-0 lead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Warrington had a pretty tough match too, um, and dropped that one. But then Doug clinched it for us in a really close match, seven five six four three singles. Um, and Peter Pia had a close match, lost in three sets. Uh, Mike Richmond making his singles debut for us had a nice win. Um, uh, as did Kevin Sleitner at six singles, so it was, it was a nice seven-two win for our guys, and it's good to get back in the win column, and you know, and should uh, give us some momentum going into Messiah on Wednesday. And a tip hat of those two guys that uh, won their first singles matches. Congratulations yeah. to them. Sure. On the women's side, a little bit of a different match, and that's been yeah. the tale of the season: is yeah. whatever the women do, the men won't, or <laughs> yeah. whatever the men yeah. do, the women won't. Yeah. Um, but those are they fall five four. Sure. But those are the types of matches you expect in this conference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we knew it was going to be a tough match. Um, you know, certainly we like on one of these dual match days to get both teams to get a win at the same time. Um, but that being said, the, the five four loss by to Lycoming by no means is is a real bad loss for mm-hmm. us. It was a team we lost to uh, relatively easily last year. Uh, so we knew it was going to be a tough match. Uh, we started off one doubles great. Jenna and Kelsey got another win at one. Um, and then at two and three, we, we certainly didn't play as well. It's, that's sort of the one area where it was disappointing. We didn't play mm-hmm. nearly as well as we have the last few weeks at two and three doubles. So we went down in, in singles, down 2-1, uh, sort of behind the eight ball a little bit. Um, but we bounced right back. Jenna got a straight set win at one. Um, Kirsten had a, had a close match, but a, a good straight set win for her at two singles. Uh, and that gave us the lead. Kelsey was down a, down a set uh, in three singles, fought back, forced a third set, won that match in three sets. Uh, to give us a uh, 4-2 lead. Um, and then after we lost to four singles, it was 4-3. And then we were down a set at both five and six singles, won the second set, the fourth, uh, a full third set in each. Um, we were up a break in one and, and had match point at another. And But both were really tough matches. I mean, both girls played really well, Colleen and, and Nina. And uh, unfortunately, we just weren't able to pull all the close matches out that we needed. Um, but, you know, like in this conference, that's what you can expect. Mm-hmm. And, and those five, four matches where it comes down to the last match on the court, uh, for a young team like we are, you know, those those are really invaluable. And that's something that, you know, the next time we're in that situation, having that experience will be that much easier for us to pull it out. So. Yeah, let's talk about that next situation that might come up rather quickly. You guys are going to be playing a lot this week yeah. on yep. both sides. Yep. Not so many double duels, double matches like you had on Saturday. Sure. But what is what are these experiences going to do as you guys – play this schedule out yeah well I mean certainly I mean for the girls right away we play tomorrow we play Messiah Mm -hmm. you know defending conference champs and they're a very very good team as we uh, as we saw last year and in the MAC in this fall Um, so we've got to you know sort of have you know we got to take the confidence from the things we did well on Saturday and then the things maybe we didn't do so well like two and three doubles just you know forget it and we've got to move on and uh, we're gonna have a much different challenge tomorrow so we've got to be ready for that but you know a lot of the girls especially the way we played in singles we should be we should be feeling good about that so mm-hmm. our singles games are coming around we get two and three doubles uh, you know back to the way that we were playing the last few weeks you know we'll have a good shot tomorrow and on the men's side you're gonna have to keep riding what you guys were able to accomplish sure. on Saturday as you guys play Messiah as yeah. well on Wednesday mm-hmm. And then you guys both have Albright. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, for the guys, uh, and it's going to be another again defending conference champs on the men's side as well. Messiah is so Wednesday. That match is going to be tough for us. It's a match that was we, it was a real dogfight last year. Mm-hmm. We were up three one and uh, up a break and two uh, up a set and break and, and two other matches um, weren't able to pull it out last spring. So you know, it's the, a lot of the same guys this year on their team. So we're going to be uh, we know we're in for a tough match and we're happy it's home. You know, hopefully that we can use that home field advantage a bit and. Uh, you know, for a lot of guys, it's going to be, you know, for Brian, this could be a mm-hmm. match that might ultimately decide who's conference player of the year. So right. him and Tim Dunn will have a really good battle at one single. Certainly one I encourage everyone else uh, to come out and watch. It'll be a great match. Absolutely. I was going to mention that, you know, the you know defending conference player of the year against, you know, one that was in the running all <laughs> for his yeah. entire career. Sure. Yeah. Well, um, 
So Dunn finished second mm, in the conference okay. player of the year. But uh, Saturday, when we play Albright, we'll play Matt Moyo at okay. one, who, was, who, the who is the two time conference. conference player of the year. Um, that being said, Dunn just beat Moyo the other day, <laughs> two and one. So, you know, all, both matches will be tough for us, right. Albright and Messiah. Um, both are really good opportunities for Brian, you know, to sort of put himself in that in that conversation and maybe even solidify his standing as as you know the best one or two uh singles player in, mm -hmm. in the conference so uh you know it's gonna be a tough week a lot of matches for us we're not gonna have a ton of time to practice in between so we've you know we've got to keep the momentum going and build off at each match a neck and neck in the conference player of the year uh yeah. race there if you can call it that yeah. it'll be very exciting to watch these two matches yeah, for absolutely. you guys. good luck this week coach thank you thank you he's evan clifton i'm joe wamba and this has been the evan clifton show